Hey guys, Dusty Baker here with Cross Timbers Bison. Uh, just hanging out with our bison today. Um, one thing I just want to say is I am overwhelmed with the support and the love that you guys have um, for following our bison. Um, it's really a huge uh, surprise to me and I just um, am soaking it all in and uh, I just want to spread, you know, kind of my passion for bison um, and these animals that were once um, near extinction to, um, you know, having them right here in, in our own pasture. And so um, that's one thing that makes this easy for me is I do have a passion for bison and um, I want to tell you about that and kind of how, um, what drove me to have bison. And so it really just started when I was a kid. I grew up in the woods. I grew up outside and I uh, just had a passion for animals. I love being around animals. Um, you know, just a country boy doing his thing. And I went through high school. I was in FFA and I raised sheep. That was part of my project for um, FFA and 4-H. I, was, I did that for, I don't know, eight years or so. And so I was involved with the livestock industry doing that. My, my uh, stepdad raised sheep. And uh, so we had, we had some sheep. We had a project going there. And then I, too much question. So I was in the FFA showing sheep, did that for like, <clears throat> excuse me, seven or eight years. And then I, uh, you know, my, my dad and um, his dad had a farm. They had a Hereford farm up in uh, Lindsay, Oklahoma. So my families have had a past with um, livestock and raising animals and things like that. And then, so uh, I planned on going to Oklahoma State University. I wanted to get a wildlife ecology degree. And so what I did was, is right before I graduated, my history teacher, it's all about connections right here. So my history teacher, her husband was the chief of resource management at the national park here in Sulphur. And um, I got a summer job, a uh, summer internship, and I was a biological technician. Basically a fancy word um, to, you know, do stuff around the park. And one of the coolest parts of my job was I got to go out in the bi bison pasture and at the park, there's about, I don't know, 10 or so uh, bison there. And they come from the Wichita Mountains in Lawton. And um, they have their own herd there in the National Park. And people drive by and see them all the time. So I got to go take care of them. And guess who I got to work with my first year? Uh, Daniel Arms from Arms Family Homestead. And so uh, I, I knew Daniel in high school and stuff like that. But then we got to work together at the National Park. So. That was a really fun experience. And so we got to really uh, get out in the pasture with them, kind of like I'm doing now. And uh, there was a really cool bull there and he was probably 20 plus years old and he had this big crooked horn and uh, he was pretty famous. Everybody knew who he was. His name was Crooked Horn, obviously. Um, and so he would eat these cattle cubes um, out of our hand and he was massive. I mean, we're talking a uh, one ton bull here. And so, that kind of really got me going. I was like, this is neat, this is fun. Um, I think I could do this. So time went on and I went to Oklahoma State, you know, on the fall and the spring, and I got to come home in the summer. And uh, I lived at home, I stayed with my parents uh, while I was at home, and I worked in the National Park. I did that for four summers. And so I got a lot of really good experience working for the National Park Service. And I'm still going to school, <clears throat> doing my thing. And so uh, I graduated from Oklahoma State and I became a teacher and a coach. I uh, switched uh, avenues a little bit and I moved to Texas for five years and I, I was a teacher and a coach. That's kind of where my passion started going. And um, so, which was great. And I'm still a coach and a teacher and I absolutely love it. Uh, and then after five years of Texas, moved to Oklahoma and I kind of, came back to my roots a little bit and I just felt like I needed something else. I needed to get back to what I was uh, comfortable with, you know, back to my, I don't know, kind of country life, I guess you could say. And so I met a lovely woman 
and uh, I moved to Oklahoma City and uh, got a teaching and coaching job and so I started um, thinking about this bison thing and um, you know it was my experience with them that just kept buzzing in the back of my head and every time I drive past that park um, that old bison pasture it just kept buzzing ahead I was like I really miss being around those animals and uh, you know I did some college research papers on them in, in high school or sorry in college at Oklahoma State and um, I learned about their history and I learned that they these animals really suffered and we got down to a population of less than a thousand um, you know by the 1890s and early 1900s a very scary time for uh, the American bison and so what you what we started to see was individuals coming together to really try to conserve these animals and and save them from being destroyed and so uh, I just kind of took that uh, history and I felt like I needed to do something I felt like uh, here's an opportunity to um, take an animal that was once almost extinct to raising them and, and growing their numbers in North America. Will we ever get back to 30 million or 60 million animals like there was once before? Uh, probably not. Uh, but we can dang sure do what we can to um, bring these animals back uh, to, to higher populations in North America. And uh, Yeah, I only have six right now because I'm just getting started, but I would love to grow our numbers and I would love to contribute to the uh, bison world essentially and and do what I can as a small producer get back to my passion um, so I was coaching and teaching I you know was living the city life a little bit and uh, loving that and um, I kept talking to my wife about you know how fun it would be to raise bison and she just really encouraged me to do it let's let's do it why not and uh, she really just really got on board with me and she's very supportive and uh, she wanted to learn more about ranching and farming and being with these animals and so I started making phone calls uh, to some bison people and I doing I was doing some research and really looking into it and uh, everybody pointed me back to a guy named Doc Gerald Parsons he's a vet up in Stratford, Oklahoma, probably 30 minutes from where our farm is right here. And so uh, I called him up and I said, hey, I'm interested in raising bison. I'd like to get a small herd of bison. And he said, I've got five right here for you if you want them. And I was just kind of struck by, I was like, uh, okay. Uh, our pens weren't ready, our corrals weren't ready. and. Uh, I was just like kind of in shock oh crap I can own five bison right now if I want to so um, it got real real fast and so I said okay well we'll come look at them and so me and my wife and uh, my stepdad Kevin who helps take care of the bison for me we drove to Stratford we looked at him he said here they are and he walked out you know with a with a bucket and and fed them and he had them trained and got them, had them used to people, and um, there they were. And I was like, oh crap, okay, well, I guess we're going to do this. And so um, we gathered up, uh, you know, got some money together and took care of all that business. And about two months later, uh, we went and got them last March in 2018. And um, man, was it a uh, surprise. I mean, uh, but it was really exciting. I was super nervous, uh, we all were, but I just, I'm so lucky and so blessed to have such great animals. These animals have been pretty awesome, as you can tell in some of our other videos, but we're gonna do everything that we can to have a healthy herd, and you can see all the changes we're starting to make on this property, and um, we just wanna grow our herd and produce um, good bison, good quality bison, and so that we can um, be good producers and help the bison industry. Come here, Eleanor. Here she comes. Baby.
Thelma? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed um, learning about why I love bison and why I'm passionate about them. Um, these are just the coolest animals and this is easy for me to do. Um, it's easy for me to uh, educate people about it. That's all I wanna do. I wanna tell you how we do things here. Uh, we only have six. We don't have thousands of acres of land and, and hundreds of bison roaming around. We just don't have that capability. Um, and so we do what we can here and I'm, I'm very uh, glad and very lucky and blessed to um, have people follow us along on this and I hope that you continue doing so. We have a lot of stuff to talk about and uh, you know, like I said before, these animals just inspire me to keep doing this. And so um, I just hope you enjoy it and I really appreciate you following us along and go subscribe to our channel if you already haven't. Um, you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram and uh, just follow us along as we uh, go through this process of uh, just me letting you know how we do things here in southern Oklahoma. Thank you guys so much.